July 27, 2015. Government officer, uh, there's a complaint that your dog is barking at night. Uh, your neighbors cannot sleep. So, uh, can I check whether your dog has a license? This is a be kind to pets veterinary educational video. Sponsored by Topayo Vets. The process of microchipping. What is microchipping? It is implanting an electronic chip in your pet. It's injected under the next skin. It's just like an identity card. Who does microchipping and when? Vets and pet shop owners microchip pets. AVA requires vets to verify that a pet has been microchipped. The owner hold the dog. Okay, yeah. probably take away this, take away this thing, the harness, because sometimes it interferes with the injection. Muzzle the dog, because some dogs bite. Then pull out the skin with three fingers, three finger method. Right. Uh, and then 45 degrees go in. Uh, under the skin and then close the uh, press the hole before you cut, bring up because otherwise the microchip might fall out. Uh, press the hole there. Uh, okay, then uh, then open okay, a scan to show that the microchip is in to show the owner or so. Uh, so it, so that no misunderstanding they don't see that no microchip is there. That's all you finished. Then we, we, we will submit to the government. We have a record here. Advantages of microchipping. A dog needs a microchip to be licensed in Singapore. Unlicensed dog owners can be fined up to $5,000. People can find their missing pets more easily. Also, pet ownership arguments can be solved. Once, somebody lost their non-microchipped dog. Months later, they found a similar looking dog living with others. These new people had microchipped the dog. The police was involved, but they could not find out the real owner. That's why microchipping is useful, in case your pet goes missing. Thank you.